Let's put these ugly rumors to rest. As soon as Parfums de Marley Altier dropped, everybody was like, it's Mercedes-Benz Club Black in a niche presentation. Well, I finally got myself Mercedes-Benz Club Black and I've smelled both of these fragrances. And I personally don't pinpoint them from muscle memory, but I haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison until now. So if you truly wanna know if Mercedes-Benz Club Black and Altier by PDM, the new new joint, which costs twice as much as this joint, and you're essentially wondering, yo, is this the same Peace? We'll find out today. Let's roll my music so we can check out if Parfums de Marley Altair is just Mercedes Benz Club Black in a pretty niche presentation. Welcome to the YouTube channel that will make you laugh more than a gaggle of unicorns mating in the Serengeti. His wealth of knowledge will make the most astute astrophysicist question. His life decisions, led by his spiritual advisors, Chuck Norris and Walter Mercado, I present to you, Mr. Kind of a Big Deal. Kind of a Big Deal. Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Now I'm gonna first start off by looking at these notes side by side. I'm doing this all a la freestyle. I haven't done no comparison between these fragrances, I haven't done a side by side smell of these two fragrances, I haven't worn them together to be able to do the comparison. It's all going to be done right now. So using for granted, I'm gonna go through the note breakdown first of Parfums de Marley Altair. Essentially it says it's cinnamon, cardamom, bergamot, orange blossom, bourbon, vanilla, LME, praline, musk, ambroxan, and gayak wood. Now for Mercedes-Benz Club Black, the notes are listed as bergamot, incense, jasmine, vanilla, benzoin, woody notes, and ambroxan. There are some similarities here as far as notes are concerned, but scent profile versus scent profile is the only way we can truly know if they are comparable in the same space, if it's a clone, or is it just internet hoopla? Sounds like a lot of- Hoopla! Hoopla! <laughs> Now this video don't gotta be complicated. All it takes is a couple of test strips, a couple of arms, an expert nose, expert. I know from experience, dude. You know what I mean? To determine if the Parfums de Marley new release Altair is in fact Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Let's see. Let's start off with Club Black. I thought it was really good. I love the scent profile. I think it's uber sexy. I just have a little bit of performance issue as far as my skin is concerned. A ton of people said I'm completely wrong and their performance level has been through the roof. That's awesome. Clearly we are not the same human being or have the same skin chemistry. Stop being stupid. Now just pay up and stop being stupid. All right, so let's start off with Benz Club Black. Gorgeous. Uber sexy, vanillic, smoky, slightly sweet, very seductive, very warm, spicy, close encounter, date night situation. I wanna grab her by her waist, tug her in ever so gently, and dry hump her. Boy. Hold on, does she wanna dry hump? Ooh, that sounds a little illegal. Disregard. Gorgerific, glorious. You get a lot more bergamot and bright citruses in the Mercedes-Benz Cup Black. I think that joint is absolutely outstanding. It's phenomenal. The only problem that I have with the fragrance, seriously, the only problem, problem. Your experiences are not universal is the performance issues that I have off my skin, but I don't really consider it a problem because I don't really look for that massive beast moan projection. The older that I get, I'm like, listen, as long as the shit lasts decent and not like three hours, we're Gucci. All right, so we got Club Black here. Now let me spray Altair, which, I mean, I've been spraying Altair for a minute already, so for me, right from rip, I'm not getting the similarity, but you know, side by, I haven't done it side by side, so this can be the determining factor, right? No, bro, no. Muskier, vanillic, Nutty, drier. I mean, if there was such thing as vanilla cotton balls, that would be more that. Like, it's drier, you get that cotton ball essence. There's a high level of musk here, you get the nutty factor. There's nowhere near the level of brightness that I experienced with Club Black. Like, these shits are not even in the same stratosphere to my nose. Not at all, I don't even know who said that, no. Bro, no, no. Let's go on the hands, cause y'all is smoking piedras. I even saw it on For Granted too, that comparison when they do the breakdown on the bottom, that it showed the Mercedes-Benz Club Black under the Altair. Bro, what are you talking about, guy? These are both equally sexy, completely different playing fields. I'm gonna start with Altair this time. Same energy, dry, vanillic, nutty, uber musky, cotton-ish, delicious. Now let's go to Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Bro, not even. What are you, t you know what, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna be that guy because there's comparisons that I make that people think I'm absolutely crazy too. Different strokes for different folks, right? I cannot stress that enough. But when there's a repetition going around about people saying, yo, these two are just twins. Get this one over this one because this one smells exactly like this one for a fraction of the price. N 
No, no, no. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mercedes-Benz Cup Black, amazing for the price. And a lot of people are getting way better performance than me, so I say go for it blindly. It's that good. Uber sexy, absolutely date night appropriate. In the space of Mercedes-Benz Select Night, kind of meaning that they're both dark, sexy date night fragrances. Altair, on the other hand, is a vanilla lover's wet dream. If you want something that's unique from every other vanilla fragrance that you may potentially have in your arsenal that's a lot drier as opposed to being creamier, Altair is the move. It's punch musk vanillic. Nutty. Mercedes-Benz Club Black is not that. Mercedes-Benz Club Black, to be honest with you, has more sexual versatility than Altair. Altair is like, if you don't like vanilla, you are asked out. With Mercedes-Benz Club Black, the vanilla here is not even like that. It's more leathery, smoky than anything with a sexy citrus opening, but they... What? Stop smoking that piedra. Nobody believes that, bro. I told you I wasn't gonna make this video long or crazy. So to put the rumors to bed in my eyes, in my opinion, what do I know? Just that I have them right next to me. Altair from Parfums de Marley is not a clone, is not inspired, is not in the same stratosphere to my opinion, of Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Much cheaper, super versatile, very sexy. Awesome performance, unique vanilla, dry, musky, pricey. That's it. Which one performs better? For me, Altair. Much better than Club Black. Which one is more versatile? Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Which one would I get? I get Mercedes-Benz Club Black first, unless your wallet got that heavy duty and you just can't resist a vanillic fragrance, then Altair is an amazing option. But this is cheap as shit. Sacrifice two days of coffee and you can buy this joint. Oh, that's too easy. His head's so big, it's not even fair. <laughs> I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I hope this provided some sort of clarification for some of y'all, cause y'all be ripping in these spaces. And I love how the majority of the people who are doing these comparisons literally do not even own these fragrances. This is a space that we're living in in 2023. Different strokes for different folks. Fact. I love y'all mother sucks from the heart and I'll see y'all stitches next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you thought Mercedes-Benz Club Black smells like Altair and you can start the argument there amongst yourselves. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>